All right, here we are. Not sponsored, paid by, for, paid for with my own money. Uh, sealed Ravnica Allegiance tournament or, you know, event. It's not a tournament. Now, I've never, ever opened a pack of this stuff before. So let's see what we're going to get, right? So we've got a Gruel Spellbreaker. Riot and Trample for three mana. As long as it's your turn, you and Gruel Spellbreaker have Hexproof. Cool. Okay. And it can be plus, it can be four four of it, or it can have haste. But you know what? I want to <laughs> I want to have the four four with trample for three mana, please. Yes, thank you. Awaken the Earth while a five drop. I get two of these. Each player discards all the cards in their hand, then creates that many black zombie creature tokens. Okay, that would be cool if you could, you know, basically. Uh, but this is pretty much useless and sealed. Why do I get two of these? Come on, man. That's hard. That's just hard. Okay, we got Electro Dominance. Oh, cool. It's an X spell. Electric Dominance deals X damage to any target, which is cool. You may cost a card with converted mana cost of X or less from your hand without paying its mana. Oh, that's nice. Okay. These two are already two, two, two pretty big contenders. Then there is the Mass Manipulation, which gain control of X target creatures and or Planeswalkers. Oh, that's nice. But it's far too expensive. And then we get Biogenic Ooze, which is a mythic. When Biogenic Ooze enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 green ooze token. At the beginning of your end step, put a plus one, plus one on each ooze token you control. And for four mana, you can create. Now that's what we're talking about. This is what I want to play. This stuff here this is cool. Let's hope that the rest supports green white because you know I want to have evasion too. I mean, there's let's see if there's much evasion in white this time. I don't see much. I only have okay. Sky tether. Oh, that's cool. We will give your creature flying, but it can't attack. How neat is that? Okay, so there's at least there's like a. There's this stuff here, some removal. Exile target with power four greater. Angelic exaltation, where X is the number of creatures you control. That's pretty neat. Now, I generally dislike blue, but it does have a flash flying fairy duelist, which is a pretty cool common to have in this format. Persistent Petitioners, no. Hexproof, no. Oh my god. They're, <laughs> they're making them bigger and bigger. Thought Collapse, Counter Target Spell. Oh, there's a Counter Spell here. And then there's that. Okay, Thirsting Shade. Oh cool, a 1-1 one, one Lifelink with a plus 1 plus 1. That's a cool card. That's actually nifty. Plague Ride. Makes it effectively a three tough, a three power creature. Then there's Rakdos Trumpeteer with Manus. The Carrion Imp. You may exile target creature card. If you do, you gain two life. Ill gotten inheritance at the beginning of you. Deals one damage and you gain one life. Oh, cool. Cool. Yep. The Vindictive Vampire. With a guy with a rotting arm next to him. Whenever another creature you control dies. Vindictive Vampire deals one damage to each opponent. And you gain one life. Blade Juggler. And consigned to the pit. Destroy target creature. Consigned to the pit deals two damage. While well, it's an expensive removal card. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, I'm so going to play this thing. This is so cool. Storm Spike, which basically is Cry 1 in the first turn. If you do draw that many th stuff, Feral Maka, Scorch Mark, okay, direct damage. Oh, this is cool. Lightning Bolt. 
basically. It's basically a lightning bolt if you did something. You know, if if you made your opponent lose life this turn. I think that we are pretty much set with with blue uh, with uh, green and red. Yes. Uh, let's see. There's an X beam beast, the territorial boar. Destroy a target creature with flying. Sagittarius Folly deals one damage to each creature with flying your opponent controls. Oh, cool. Cool. Regenesis. Return up to two permanent can. Okay, cool. Too expensive, though. Distribute three plus one plus one counters among one, two, or three target creature, then double the... Wow. Okay, and then there's a Sylvan Bush Rider, which gives you two life. Okay. That's some pretty cool stuff here. Law Mage's Binding. It has flash, and it makes it, you know, keeps another guy from attacking you. Or blocking can't be blocked okay imperious oligarch afterlife when this creature dies create a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit token with flying cool footlight fiend when footlight fiend dies it deals one damage to any target Fireblade art fire blade artist. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice a creature. When you do, fireblade artist deals two damage to target opponent or creature. Okay, acrobat, death touch or plus two minus two. Hmm. Okay, cool. Ragdos roustabout. It deals one damage whenever Ragdos roustabout becomes blocked. Okay, get to the point. Some removal. Cool. Collision deals six damage to any creature with flying. Okay. And Colossus spots four plus two and gains trample until end of turn. This is a cool card. I really I'm going to play that. And then there's Zurta Goblin, which is a three three or a two two haste creature for two mana. Cool, cool. Gruel Spellbreaker. Riot and trample. Yeah, I saw that one. Okay, then we have Savage, Savage Smash, which is an upgraded Rabbit Bite. And we've got this Frenzied Erynx, which has Riot and Trample. Cool, cool. I'm definitely going with Red and Green. So this catches my eye. Scuttle Gator. A 6-6 six, six Defender, which... <laughs> The mana cost on this thing. <laughs> okay, so adapt three. You can make it a nine nine for an additional eight mana, and then it can attack. There's a frilled mystic. Okay, you make counter target spell. Yep, growth spiral. Okay, and then we oh, this thing has gotten a reprint. Cool. All right. So I think we'll start with the Gruel Guild Gate. Let's let's do the Gruel Guild Gate first, right? We are we are set to do the green and red. So this one is definitely in. This one is in, and this one is in, and this one is in. Oh, that wasn't too hard. I mean, look, these things pretty much select themselves. Uh, I really like these two. Okay. Let's see what we had here. Yes, we had the Spear, the Spear, the Spear, Spear, and the Scorch Mark, and Skewer the Critics. That's pretty much, okay, so we can do one damage each turn after the, although 0-2, it's not that, it's not that sturdy, but at least, you know, if, so, if he doesn't have any creatures, at least you can, Okay, the Scorch Mark deals two damage. Wow, for six mana, deals six damage to target creature with flying. And, and, and it's still, and it's versatile because, you know, you can pump your own creature. Okay, here's this, uh, this uh, Curd Ape of the Third Age. Skewer the Critics. Yeah, this is nice. Lightning Bolt. 
Sag guitar, so volley, that's cool, yes. Yes, but I don't have many creatures yet in this season. Oh my goodness. I don't have many creatures yet. Let's see, can we get a lot of creatures? Okay, the Pharaoh Macaws are two drop. Oh, this is nice. So you basically get two for this card. You get two goblins. If only I had two or three of these cards, that would be great. But I'll take it. Oh, cool. <coughs> Finally, something, a, a, a more potent land destruction spell than the ones we had. I mean, most of the land destruction spells, this one is slightly better. Not much better, but it's slightly better. Flames of the Raised Boar. Deals 4 damage to target creature and opponent controls. Then Flame deals 2 damage to each other creature that player controls. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater. Well, it's not the cheapest card, but when Rumbling Ruin enters the battlefield, count the number of plus 1 plus 1 counters and creatures you control. Uh, creatures your opponent with power less. Wait a second. Creatures your opponent control with power less than or equal to that number can block. Okay, cool. And there it is, Electro Dominance. That should be in the deck. You, you don't even need to think about it. Stony Strength. Yep. That's cool. But we, we need creatures to go with that. I mean, I haven't had many creatures yet. Let's see. Now this, I mean, look at the mana curve. Okay, I've got three first turn, six two turn, eight three turn. Okay, so this is pretty good. It's not too bad. And I'm already at 40. And I'm already at 40. I, I could make my Spear Spearer somewhat, you know, durable with this Stony Strength. I could make this Pharaoh Macaw with its six eyes. A tiger with six eyes. Okay, a Scorch Mark, Territorial Boar. Okay, how many creatures do I have? Creatures, 10. Non-creatures, 13. Hmm, that's not too good. Well, the, this counts as a creature. Security critics, yeah. Can I put in another? I mean, this is a 4 2 steeple creeper. I could do one of those, and I can remove one of those Sagittar volleys, but it's an expensive creature. We have a dagger cost there, and just the battlefield that deals one damage, a one damage to each. Holy moly, I didn't see that one. Okay, I'm going to lose the land destruction. Holy moly. Dagger coster. Wazoo. Okay, that'll have to do. This footlight fiend. Yep, that's going in there. I need one more one drop, but what is going? <laughs> this one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Did I make the correct choices? I don't know. I'm always slightly miffed when I don't draw enough evasion. There was some evasion, but not not the kind of evasion I want and not the kind of evasion I could play with the with the best cards that I got, so Yup. Here we go. I wonder what kind of removal spells my opponent has because that's the determining factor. How quickly can he get rid of my ghoul spellbreaker? Mm. 
Gruel. Electrodominance. There it is. Stack up a mana and just burn your enemy to death. Uh, give it that plus one, plus one counter, please. I know, I know. I could have done three damage already. Might have been a mistake. I don't know. What you doing, Nicholas? Oh, Death Dutch. Noxious Grudian. Cool. Yup. Okay. I'm going to wait one more turn and then I'm going to Electro Dominance your Noxious Grudian. Or I'm going to haste this creature and I'm just going to attack with that one. Okay. Sorry for that. Knocking the microphone is not a nice thing to do, I know. I love these. I, I, I was, I thought that we had two little X spells. I mean, uh, what's the other one? The, the Bane, the Bane Fire. Yeah, we have Bane Fire and now we have this. Okay, other creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus zero, plus one. Mm. Now, the reason why I did this is I want to be able to pay three and then cost this Sylvan Bushrider for free. Meh. Nice. Nice sound effect for that creature. <laughs> Sylvan Bushrider. Looks so cute. It says it's a giraffe with a, it's a giraffe -a thing. <laughs> it's a, a giraffe -a thing. Let's see what you got, Mr. Nicholas. All right, here we go. Let's see what he does. I mean, we, I'm going to play the Stony Strength on the Sylvan Bush Rider. Makes it more durable and kills the spirit of the spires. Oh, no. Um, yep, now I'm going to play it because it will come in handy. If, if it doesn't kill it in some, in some way or another, I can deal some damage without having to attack. Whoa. Attacks each combat if able. Okay, so it's not a blocker. I could give him plus three plus zero if I wanted to. No. no I'm not going to attack. I'm going to wait until the end of his turn. Then I'm going to skewer her him with a spear that spear would have skewered a wild boar I'm out of lands and you have to attack with the rubble belt you know? so it's a it's a hard hitter I like the card for this type of play let's see what else he has up his sleeve mr. Nicholas he has to attack. Yep, there it goes. P.S. No blocks. P.S. Uh, 
Hmm, what is coming next? I wish I had another X spell. <laughs> or, you know, double your life total. Dude, what kind of cheat card is that? Wow. Oh, to each player, which means me too. Oh, that, thank you. I didn't know that. <laughs> Dude, that was the, the biggest cheat I've ever seen. I have to attack. I thought I had this in the pocket. I really did, I think, did, but this, revenge, double your life total, target opponent loses half their life, round it up, <laughs> dude, hey, wait a second, why the hell, okay, don't worry about it, if he destroys my territorial boar, I'm dead, if he has five damage worth if he has a direct damage spell for five in his hand i'm dead so let's see what happens let's see what happens yep that's we knew that was going to happen okay and you should know that that is going to happen okay nothing is going to happen but what comes next that's the question oh nice I have that guard as well, and I really like it. And he's got goblins. Okay, I'm not going to play the biogenic ooze. <laughs> oh, let's see, how much damage can he block? Five. How much damage can I do? Uh, ten. You're dead. Good game. This is the end. Yeah, that's fine. Whew. I thought I lost that one with that with that, that, that life switch thing. Take vengeance, no, what was it? Revenge. Revenge. Yeah, it was revenge. Alright, there we go again. Pooh. Yeah, that revenge card. That was a that was, <laughs> that was a surprise drop. He he really surprised me there. Let's see what time it is. Okay, it's ten o'clock in the morning over here. It was pretty cold. Fundo, hello, Fundo. Mm-hmm. Oh, not many creatures in this hand. In fact, no creatures in this hand. I can only buff my Sylvan Bushrider as it, as it stands. Not that great. I didn't get a one draw. Or one play. I turned one. Okay. Savage. Smash! Hulk smash. At least I get the mana I need to play this cutesy little thing. Oh, cool. <laughs> this sound. Hey, it sounds like a it sounds like a goat. <laughs> it looks like a giraffe with horns. And it has a oh my goodness. Dude that was not nice. Now I have nothing to play. So that's not cool. Yeah, I have too many spells other than creatures in my hand. You may sacrifice another creature. No, you don't have another creature, so you're not going to sacrifice it. Or you know, it says another creature, not 
sacrifice this creature. Now, I must say, at least I can burn it away. Too many spells. Too many spells. It's always something in this. Come on, I'm going to pass everything. Oh, he is going to pass too. Okay, very good. Just stacking up on that. Nothing to see here. Move along. Target creature with flying. Okay. Which basically means that I'm going to scorch mark here. Yes. Goodbye. Not leaving that on the table. And it's an instant. I see that now. Wow. That's great. This thing is an instant. Oh, it's going good. We're drawing all the lands we need. I mean, I can play every card in the deck right now. <laughs> Finally. And I'm going to give it haste as well. Oh, too early. But all right. I'm fine. Damn it. Damn it. I don't know. Do I even have 22 mana in this deck? I don't believe I have. Otherwise, I could just electrodominance him to death. Yep, go. Go. Rafter Demon. Nope. The spectacle cost wasn't paid. I'm going to wait just a minute. I don't know what's coming next. Might he might have something more dangerous than this. I, mean, I can I can have four damage. That's okay. Oh, it's my turn already. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to take another four damage. Yes. I want to play my goblins, please. I need some creatures on the deck. I need some creatures on the table. Fundo. Hello, Fundo. Unfortunately, this is a sorcery. Yep. Now, your dominance has come to an end, Mr. Rafter Demon. No more Rafter Demon for you. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? No, really. Oh, there we go. There we go, finally. <laughs> so, I really love the, some of the stuff that these cards do. <laughs> it farts. How funny. Uh, yes, I'm going to not do anything more. Now let's play a little bit defensive. So there we go. Oh, and it even boosts itself. So that's great. Uh, of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> it's like it's like a it's like a destruction magnet. Everybody wants to destroy that. Who doesn't want to destroy that? Oh, I don't like this. I don't want to. Oh, something like that. He's going to play his... The next card he's going to play is that 4-4 four, four thing. That 4-2. Oh, carry nip. Cool. 
Evasion. See? Evasion. I told you evasion was coming. He's eating my ooze. <laughs> Did you like it? It sounded like a fart. Okay, there we go. The X-Bane Beasts. A little Savage Smash. No. Oh. Yeah. Like that, obviously. How else would I pay? How else would I deal four damage to him? Did this thing had haste? No, it didn't have haste. Okay, and now I can deal five damage to him. Good. Hanging on to my electro dominance for life. <laughs> I mean, it's worth six damage now. The eggs being beast. Fundo. Let's see what if Beagle Five gets something cool. Oh, cool. Well, it's not really that uh, nifty right now. I mean, it's not like any. He doesn't, but it, but it's a, it's a big, it's a big creature. Elementals usually are. Not going to attack. I don't know what he's holding in his hand. I'm playing it safe, just for one turn. Next turn, I'm going to attack with everything. Because I want to be able to electro dominate whatever he can cost. Oh, cool, cool. Look at he's going to sacrifice it. For two cards. Yep. Come on. Just pass. Why is he holding on to this card? I don't understand. Okay. Here we go. What, did it, what is it you are holding, mister? I don't know. It's not blocking? Why the hell not? Okay. In that case. Goodbye, Mr. Findo. I don't believe he has. I mean, unless he, you know, he has some life gain card he can play now. Or Never heard of a, of a red, black, or green counter card. I mean, yeah, we used to have. Oh, he was sitting on Electrodominance as well. <laughs> cool. Good game. Of course you're sitting in Electro Dominance. It's the finisher. Oh, cool. I got 250 gold. And I up to th two wins. So that's nice. If your timer views runs down, you'll see fireworks. <laughs> There's fireworks for you, my friend. And there's fireworks for everybody. Let's see, is there anything happening right now? No, it's six minutes in. Ready. Bob Saget. <laughs> it's Bob Saget. Yeah, there's the sewer talk goblin. I was wondering where you were. I mean, I drew you after all. Keep this. Yes. Oh, yes. I want to be able to skewer the critics. And since we need two red for the Electro Dominance, I'm going to cast them out next. Make it a 3-3. Three, three. I, I can't help it. I think that it is better to be in the conservative side at this moment. Some people might disagree with me, I can understand. Well, this has afterlife too. That's really bad. That's really bad because that means that I'm getting, you know, he, he's getting two one one flying creatures if I let that thing pass. What should I do? Should I accept that or should I say, well, you know what, I'm going to play the spear skewer just for the sake of it and I'm going to attack. I mean, yeah, to hell with that. 
he's getting two one one flying creatures my creatures are more dangerous so and i can cast the dagger caster which basically blows up all this his his guys unless he somehow buffs them now i mean that's also always possible magic return what oh cool was that it yeah that's it okay cool whoosh this thing is too good When Senate Griffin Scry One, cool Senate Griffin. He's he's playing his evasion game. He's getting what he wants. At least the thing doesn't have haste. I mean that would have been something. Oh uh, yep. Uh, Goodbye. This is one of those ultimate diehard cards. You know, Hans Gruber, you know, catching Molly Slag and trying to drag her out of Nakatomi Plaza from the 24th floor somewhere. <laughs> If I'm dying, you'll be dying too. Okay, that's a dangerous one. He can make himself... If he adapts... So he, he adapts himself to flying by his own ability. That's a prime target for destruction. It's not that hard. I'm so happy I drew two of these. And there we go. Sitting on our electrodominance again. So right now I'm liking the synergy between him and the electrodominance. Because now I can bring him within electrodominance uh, range. Well, not if he keeps gaining life, of course. With his uh, sphinxes inside. 10th District Veteran. Whenever a 10th attacks, untap another creature you control. Cool. Pass. Pass everything, please. I don't need to do anything else. So, what are we going... I'm not going to shoot the 10th District thing. I am going to attack with Zurta only. He's too strong for her. I mean, it's a her, right? Yep, it's a her. And my guys are too strong for her as well, so if we want to, we can block her. Now, I'm going to spear skewer her. Yes, I know this is the wrong time to do it. Everybody wants me to do it on the at the end of his turn. And no, don't play to relieve it. A Petromander. Adapt four. Dude. So this can become a 5-5 five, five creature. How many instants does he have? Holy moly. I need to burn this thing before it turns into something bigger. Yeah, there you go. Resolve. Yeah, that's nothing I can do. Because it's already on the stack, right? But you know what? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five. That's enough. Not letting that thing live, obviously. Okay. I'm going to hit you for five. Yep, I know. I was losing that one. Not care too much about that one, though. And that's it. Now I'm going to leave my spear skier just in case my enemy comes up with some kind of a, I don't know, 
Create a 4-4 four, four blue, white and blue sphinx creature token with flying and vigilance. Dude. Dude. Did I blow my low too early? Hmm, guess not. Yeah, I did, actually. Yeah, he can block two. And then he'll be down. He'll be down to three. He'll be down to three. I can't pump it. No. Oh, this is a risk. But I can kill him with my spear skewer. So here we go. Fortune favors the bold, right? Yes, life gain. Oh, what, what is this? Oh, that's a mistake, guy. Unless he is able to, you know, replenish his life, I won this game. But this was a risk. Oh my goodness, of course he's able to replenish his life. What did you think? But at least I'm, I'll be able to, you know. Okay. He can untuck that thing. Yeah, that's cool. What else do you have up your sleeve, Bob Saget? <laughs> what a name, Bob Saget. Ooh, Scorch Mark. That's pretty useless. Unless... Mm -hmm. I can trick him somehow into... I want to bait him into blocking my dag... My Zerta Goblin? Yeah. This is going to be tricky. Oh! Thought Collapse. There's the counter spell. Nice. That was really nice. There you go. At least I will bring you within striking range. Next start, ne next next turn I will draw a land and a deputy of detention. Exile target non land permanent. Of course he does. He do, he understands that he is going to lose if he doesn't kill me this turn. Dude. This is a close game. Oh, there you go. Good game. You won fair and square. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I, damn it. I really would have loved to win this game. I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep playing. I want to, you know, come on. Get beyond two wins for one time, for once in a while. Wow. Far side enclave. Okay, I'll keep this. Savage smash. It's funny. Because if you would do such a thing, you know, but, you know, headbutt a guy in full plate armor, you would not have no damage. <laughs> you would, it wouldn't be like, oh, you know, the other guy's just going scot-free and nothing will happen. Persistent petitioners. Target player puts the top card of the library into the graveyard. Wow. Okay. Dude. There we go. I don't like you.
please cost one toughness creatures, please, please. There you go. Oh, it has afterlife as well. I hate afterlife. Yeah. Which means that there's now a 1-1 one, one flying creature, which can block if he wants. Perhaps there's some combat magic in his hand, but there isn't. And I can deal with it if I want to. Let's just wait for a second. I mean, I think this is not worth oh, return it to its owner's hand. Okay, thank you very much. Some measure of control. Okay, there's the boar again. Here's the spear spewer. That spear would have skewered a wild boar. Yes, Master Baggins is much stronger than you think, Aragorn. Okay. Can't be blocked, and it has vigilance. It's like, look me, I am very cool, and I talk in this lowish voice. What the hell is that? Mesmerizing Benthit. When mesmerizing Benthit enters the battlefield, create two zero two illusion creature tokens with whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap. Holy moly. And it has hex proof as long as you control an illusion. Oh my goodness, that's a good card. Okay. Let's get rid of the flying critter at least. But it's a four or five. That's the whole thing, right? It's a big, 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 big creature. Holy moly. There you go. Not much I can do about this right now. Damn it. I don't like these trades. If he is going to attack with that thing, I have I have to trade two for one. I wonder if he can if he can give them you know some power as well. This is very defensive. Very strong and defensive block when watchful giant enters the battlefield, create a one one white human creature token. Dude. This is strong. You're strong. Very strong. Yeah, what am I going to do now, right? Lose another game. Yet again? Yes, well, I stacked my... I didn't put enough... I didn't put enough creatures in my deck, so... Oh, that I would like. That I would like. If you would do that, that would be cool. Yes, please, pass. There you go. Because I don't know what kind of combat magic that you have, but... Oh, it can't be blocked. Yeah. I was... I forgot for a second that I couldn't block it. No. Giving it haste is useless, so we are going to give it plus one, plus one instead. At least we get uh, to, you know, pump our territorial bore as well. Okay, now we're in even keel. I'm not going to attack this turn. Yeah, which one? Of, which one should I eradicate, the giant or the arbiter? I don't know. Tithe Taker. Spells your opponent cost. Cost one more to cost. And abilities at one more. Oh my goodness. I don't believe in God. Why the hell should I pay Tithe? <laughs> I don't ever go to church. I haven't been to church in years. Okay. Okay, Axe Bane, Beast, one more. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I need mana, now I need mana, because if I want to do something with my Electric Dominance, I need mana. 
Pum, 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 pum. Because the Azorius Knight Arbiter is too much of a... It, 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 it'll kill me within the next four or five turns. You know, not... Pass. Pass. So right now I can only deal two damage with this thing. Oh wait a second, it's only during your turn. Ah right. Okay, so right now I can deal four damage. Okay, this is better. This is better. Next, next. No attackers. I need one more mana. One more, please. And I'm afraid I'm not going to get it. Uh, 24, 24. So the question is, who's going to deck who? If we continue on this path. But he's going to kill me before before long with this Azorius Knight Arbiter. You know. How do you block that which is unblockable? I don't know. Oh. Yep. There we go. Five. And he has a counter spell. Watch it. He's a counter spell. He has a counter spell. He's thinking about doing something. Target creature gets plus two plus two. Okay. That's how you defend him. Nice. No. Well, he has locked me into losing. And it's a common that's doing it. Cool card. He has this game locked down pretty good. A prowling caracle. Cut us all now. Caracle. It's a caracle, right? Yeah, it's a caracle. Oh, now I'm only drawing lands. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six blockers. Oh, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six attackers. So, no, I'm not dead this turn, but I will be dead next turn. If he doesn't pump his knight somehow. I mean, he did have a pump, a pump card. Look at the top four cards. Now he's getting something... That is going to win him the game. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not necessarily because he, I, I can still choose to. Okay. Okay, yeah, now I'm lost. Good game. Good game. Attack with all. Pretty simple. It's math. He can, he can attack with two more than I can block. So it's no point in trying to, you know, do anything. Defeat! Yes, defeat. Seems to be... Uh, The nature of this game. When you spent less mana to answer a threat than it costs, you have gained an important mana advantage. Yep. I agree with that. A. Crowley. No red in hand. That's dangerous. Okay. Haste. Let's turn this philosophy of mine around. Let's do the haste thing. I mean, he's playing white and.
vigilance. Okay. Let's see how far we can take it this time before we grind to a halt. That seems to be happening all the time. Okay, let's play the Axe Bane Beast first. Now I can play aggressive. This is what I like. This is what I like. Now I'm giving this haste as well. Maximize the damage this turn. Let's see what he has. He has nothing. Okay. I don't know what it, what, what his build is, but that didn't went too well for him, eh, Crowley? <sighs> Why can't it be like this all the time? <laughs> Three wins. Okay, so we got one win. This is funny. It says zero wins here. Okay, so you win once, you win twice. Now I'm up to three wins. Trying to get three wins. Collision. Mm hmm. Much better. Yes, much better. Okay. Again, many people are playing white and blue. I, I haven't read anything about this uh, this set, so it's probably the is it the strongest combination? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you if you know anything about it. Vigilance and afterlife. Oh, this is this is how much afterlife? One afterlife. Okay. Um, <laughs> next, next. Oh, attack. Yes. Okay, there, there we get this this tiny one one flying critter. And this is not now I'm lacking, you know, now that this is one of the weaknesses of the deck that I've built. Even though I have a lot of removal and such and I have a lot of options, I don't have enough creatures to, you know, keep the attacks rolling. And that's pretty important. Sacrifice Pitalist gains death touch and indestructible until end of turn. Now that's something I really dislike. Yep. So, there you go. Give it Death Touch. That's a trick that will only work once. He's thinking about it, and he's doing. Yep, there you go. Good. Good. That's a nice guy. No attacks. I mean, that indestructible. <laughs> Pitiless Pontiff. I, I, you know, he washes his hands because he's innocent. Everybody knows that. What you doing? Ar Argentum. Yep, there we go. Bash him. Smash. What is happening now? Does it uh, does it survive? Is it indestructible or no? Too bad. It's dead. But now my goblin is within striking range. Okay, yep. Figured as much. Another one of those, really? I hate those. 
I hate fairness. I know. There it is again. I, 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 it's such a strange, I don't know, such a strange animation. Why are there chains going across the, the board? I don't know. Imperious oligarch. Well, isn't it, isn't an oligarch by definition imperious? I don't know. Uh, there's my goat zebra. My goat zebra giraffe animal oh is it that it's because of the spectacle thing right right it's because of the spectacle thing that's why until end of turn okay did he do that in his own turn doesn't untap okay no blocks don't care for blocking now i don't know that Oh, what's this? Gutter bones. Return gutter bones. Oh, okay, it's just a recycler. Oh, not, not, not that great, though. Let's see what we can do. Is she going to block him or not? That's the question, right? Activate this ability only during your turn and only if an opponent has lost life this turn. Okay. My finger is itching. I want to be... I want to within killing range i want to kill my opponent i want to kill my money opponent argentum money argent in france it's money <clears throat> oh that's a cool card pestilent spirit and gain trample Yep. How much can he block? He can block four, and I deal more. You're dead. Unless you have some spell in your hand, of course. But I deal six. So, yes. This is good. This is good. I would really love to have biogenic ooze for just like two turns. <laughs> Come on. You can't do anything. Oh, wait a second. He could potentially... No. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's... All she wrote. Thank you very much, Argentum. Uh, I'm not so sure about this deck. I'm not I don't think that we are going to you know take away one more win. So we won this one, right? Then you move up to this. So we won one, two, three, four, four games already. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and that's what it says down here. You're now in the four win. You won four. Ooh, can we take it to seven? That's the question. Now I'm going to edit this stuff. Christophe. Hello, Christophe. Christophe sounds like a Belgium or a Dutch name. Oh, this is slow. This is going to be too slow, I think. Oh, let's keep it. This is going to be my loss. I think that I'm going to lose this game. Just because it is too slow. It's too slow. No drop until number until turn number four. That's too slow. 
I do like the artwork on this thing. I mean, look at those horns. Okay, the dagger caster is also there. A Viashino rogue. And the Orzov Enforcer. Orzov. That sounds like, I don't know, some kind of a Russian guy. Kill it, please. Kill it. <laughs> I want you to kill it. I want you to spend all your destruction spells on that thing. Because I'm... Oh, cool. There's this. Judith. I saw this. I saw somewhere in a... Uh, it's this one I saw. Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Judith Discouraged Diva deals one damage to any target. That's amazing. That's just amazing. Oh, wait a second. Is this his turn or what? What happened? What happened? Was I... I was passing his turn, not my own, right? Something happened. I don't know what. But I wasn't passing my turn. Catacomb. Crocodile. Yes, yes. Attack creature. What the hell happened? This is lame. This is really lame. I don't know what happened. I, I didn't... Pre perhaps I did. I will see that in... After I... Uh, you know. Here we go. Opponent's turn. Auto passing. This is all I do. This is a prime, prime, prime target for destruction spells. I mean, nobody's going to pass up that opportunity. And there you go. Too bad. Too darn bad. Gutter bones. Where did we see that one before? Nope. Not going to block. Hit me for four, please. Okay. I'm going to cast my dagger caster, which means that I will lose one life. That's all right. Okay, which brings him down to six. Oh, that's it. That's all I could do. He's all. Oh, that was basically all she wrote this turn. And I'm going to stony strength my arcane beast. Yes. And I'm not going to do anything else. I was miscounting. I thought that I could play my savage savage smash. Somehow. But that's not going to happen. So that's a bummer. Yeah. The ores of enforcer. If you attack with him, I will lose one more life. Yep. And you'll get a 1-1 one, one flying creature if I block, which I will, because getting down to 8 at this point is too close for comfort, even though 9 is not comfortable either to any target. And he'll get his, his flying critter. Now, what is he up to next? Because he has mana left. Mm -mm -mm. Next turn, I have seven mana. That's enough to play both the X Bane Beast and the Savage Smash. <sighs> Another afterlife creature. I hate those. But I have to get rid of the Judith. First, unfortunately, and then we have to get rid of the flying critter. And once we have that, once we have that down, we uh, might stand a chance. If I draw my flying destruction or any other removal that I have in this deck, another catacomb crocodile. I like the hissing sound. Ooze. 
well, it's basically a, a giant snot blob. <laughs> oh, that's what I was looking for. Thank you so much. And another axe bane beast. And now we're basically done playing anything else. We could pump this one up to, yep, 7-4, which is basically enough to contest one of those catacomb crocodiles over there. But that's basically it. So this is a stand of, ooh, three or less. Ay, 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 ay. That's going to hurt. It's three or less. He can steal. He can steal the axe pain beast, and he can steal the other ones. And oh my goodness, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm pretty much dead. I can't do anything. I'm stuck here. He's going to steal the the axe pain, and then I have to, you know. Or not. Well, that's a miscalculation from his part. Why isn't he stealing my... Why isn't he using his... Okay. That's all she wrote. We got to four wins with this sealed thing. I mean, I, if I had more... Oh, yeah. If I had, you know, more gems, I could I could play another one. But this is uh, this is it. This is what we are going to get. I don't know what's his deal. Why he? Okay, yeah. See, we draw mana, and he has already more creatures than I have. So I mean, what the hell, man? I'm going to say good game. Just finish me. What's he doing? I mean, just count. You have six, seven creatures. I have four. You only need to do deal three damage, which means that I'm dead. I'm already dead. Attack with everything. What is he doing? I don't get it. <laughs> Here, let me let me help you. There you go. That's it. That's it. So here you go. I can I concede. I'm I'm already dead. We're wasting time here. I don't know what he's doing. He's like all this. He needs to learn that once you're done, you're done. Don't don't, don't be so stupid. Come on, look at this. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing, guy. You won fair and square. This was a good game. It was a good game. Your deck was better than mine. Now, we've got four wins. Now, that's not half bad. I got 1,400 gems, which means that I can play one more. Yay, cool. Well, let's see what we got first, okay? And then, let's see... Oh, there's the Gruel Spellbreaker. Cool, cool. A Guardian Project. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you, con you control or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. So this is a Unicum, you know, play, o play only... One named cards, and you can draw cards or something like that. Here's the Law Mage's Binding. I don't like the Vindictive Vampire. This is better. Ministrant of Obligation. You get two 1-1 one, one flying tokens. Ah, there's the Zyrtok Goblin. I like that that, that little critter. A Ver Verity Circle. An opponent controls become taps. If it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. Oh, cool. Cool. Icy manipulator stuff. 
Cool. And the ill-gotten inheritance. Yep. Humongulous. <laughs> okay, that's it for this episode. I'm going to play another one, which I am going to record as well. And then I am going to call it a day. So, yeah, there we go. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.